Hello everybody, it's Suffolk Blue, all the way from Merry Old England. How the devil are you? I hope you're well. Welcome back to Pillars of Eternity. Here we are outside the Ducal Palace in First Fires. If you remember last time, we took on a dragon and slayed the dragon. It's been a couple of weeks mm -hmm. because of the illness, but we are back. We're going to carry on. I want to do the lighthouse. Now, we only have one camp. Hmm. So I'm probably thinking to start with what we should probably do is come over here to Copper Lane and let's go and uh, I don't remember I can't remember whether we got to sleep or not everyone looks like pretty well um rested and I can't remember now at all whether or not let's go to Copper Lane anyway because we need to sell up and, and get ourselves ready and get some camping materials uh, but I can't remember whether or not we slept after we did um whatever our last quest was can't remember doesn't doesn't ring any bells. We might sleep again, just to make sure that we have access to all our skills. So, how have you all been? I do hope you've been well. Um, Pillars of Eternity continuing strongly. It's still one of my favourite games hey, to play. I have to you be think honest. We could get Let's get over here and sell up and get ourselves ready. Still one of my favourite games. Um, I just love how immersive this role play game is. It's just so clever. Um, especially considering it's time-based, so you've got the pause, and it, that sometimes can make some games quite difficult to play, or at least you lose the immersion. Uh, Hello! Hello! Show me your wares. We have got stuff, haven't we? That, 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 that. Uh, keep those for now. Uh, unforgiven. I don't really use... We don't use them, so it's, it's pointless keeping these things if we don't use them. Dum, 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 dum. Dun dun dun. All these Zarup stuff that we took. Crazy. Oops, did I just sell that? Uh, scroll of protection. We have got lots of scrolls and stuff, haven't we? Goodness me. These Zarups, they were carrying a lot of stuff. Don't need any bows or anything, do we? traps down there, but nothing much else. Okay, so that sort of gets rid of that. Let's get rid of that to start with. What's that? Is that a single? It's a hatchet. 10 to 15. Oh, that's the battle axe, but that is the dwarf, but that's fine. Okay, we need some camping materials. Do you have any camping materials, sir? Yeah, I do. I only need three of them. That gets us four. Don't need a roping grappling hook, I don't think. I don't think we need any of that. Good oh. We are gonna have a little kip just in case. And then we should, and also because it's night time. But the quest we're gonna do today. Oh. Oh, 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 what's this? An assassin. Just as well. Ooh, okay. Um, I'm going to do that. Uh. Yeah, we've got to do a lot of that. There's a lot more of them than I thought. Okay, and now I'm going to kill this wizard. I'm going to do one of them. Okay, that's also, we've just clicked off our um, consecrated ground, which is good, so we are going to have to sleep after this, aren't we? Because it's all gone terribly wrong. Very helpful. Not very Not helpful. <laughs> Boom. Um, I'm just thinking we just need to hit him, I don't think we need to do an awful lot else. Gotta try that's something else! <laughs> Good, that's him dead, and then we can just do the last one here. Come on, take him down, get him off. Goodness me, come on. Probably could have killed him by now, but there we go. Should have done one of those secret skills. We got. Ooh, Rudigas, they were trying to kill us. And we got some more of those notes. We got a wand, more of those notes, coppers, a novice's grimoire, which probably isn't going to have a great deal in there for us. 
Sure. So we've now got lots of hoods. <laughs> uh, okay. Let's go and... Now, what are those notes? Are they just the same notes as we've had before? Uh, written on the scrap of parchment is a concise but detailed description of you, including your name, your distinguishing features, and everyone you're known to associate with in your brief time in the Direwood. Yeah, so let's just quickly go and sell all of these newfound... Good day, stranger. Hello. Let's have a look. Let's get rid of all this rubbish we've just picked up. I'm sort of keeping the Rudiger heads. Um, oops, wrong button. Uh, let's get rid of all of this stuff. Uh, we don't need those hoods. Uh, we're keeping all of that rubbish. We could medium shield, war bow, great sword, some of that, some of that. We'll have a look at some of these books maybe because there could be stuff there that we're missing. Ooh. And Brathen Adrasavaran. Ooh. Other stuff that could be missing as well. Okay, trade that off. That's 685. Very good. Now we are going to sleep this off because we've just used up a lot of skills. Ha uh ha. -huh. You didn't get to kill me this time. Maybe next time. But we're going to go and do the lighthouse quest today because there's another one here before we head back and start looking at some of the underground quests underneath our base because we've still got a whole quest chain apparently that we've got there as well so um, we could do that too hello hello I like a room please um, and I want that one rest good that will get us all healed up all rested and ready to reuse all our skills again good 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 out we come Ooh, good she head. Okay, let's go. Now, where is the... Is it in the gift, isn't it? Andra's gift, I think, is where the lighthouse is. Let's head over to there. I don't know whether it's going to be daytime or nighttime. I'd prefer it to be daytime when I'm doing it. Uh, we're just before dawn, which is fine. Uh, the catacombs, Brackenbury. I think we can come by a Brackenberry. Good. So we'll now just head on over on fast mode. Andra's gift, accept. So apparently it's a wailing banshee or something in this lighthouse which is not very happy and not very um, satisfied. Perhaps we should just read the quest when we get there before we go in, just to make sure that we know what we are going to do. <coughs> So, ooh, look at the fog. It's a foggy day in the gift. This is where we've got to come to. We'll put that on fast mode, so we're coming across here. And then when we get all the way over here, we shall have a little look in our quest and see what it is they actually want us to do. It's quite a run over here, I think. Here we come. I can't remember, I think this was haunted, I think was what they said. A touch of Margrin's fire should settle spirits here. Okay. Fair enough. That's her name, I think. Let's have a look and see again. At the quest, the Wailing Banshee, Nyas trying to renovate the old lighthouse in Andra's gift, but rumours of its haunting have driven away her labourers. She'd like someone to take a look around the place to prove that it's safe for work to begin. Naya gave me a key to the lighthouse in the southwest corner of Andra's gift. She doesn't seem to think there's anything wrong with the place, but she'd like me to investigate the rumours of its supposed haunting. Well, there she is. Let's have a quick chat. Welcome. Um, I'll talk to you later because I haven't got a chance. Let's turn off quick mode. And let us... You hear that? I heard that. Let's do a little secret look around. Lay in low. It's unlocked. In we go. So we're going to have a little hunt around. There's some, there was definitely a noise outside, so there's clearly something in here which we should be able to clear out. The Wailing Banshee. a barrel. Some money, we'll take that. It's quite eerie, there's nothing much around at the moment. Would you look at this? Uh, yeah, we'll look at that. We got some golden dukes.
It is quite eerie, the sounds. I don't know whether you can hear them. I can do that. That's settled. We've got padded armor and a padded cap. We'll take both of those. Ooh, crumbs. What happened there? Enemy spotted. So we've got a shade, a spectre, a shade. So I think the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use um, that. Uh, you, I'm going to need you to kill him. Actually, I need to take off there. Right, you, I need you to hit him. Where's my other one? He's here. Can you come behind us, please, just in case? Sigourney, I'm going to need you to hit him. Please go. Hey. Oh, there's stuff coming in and all sorts. Okay. Magrun's Fire. Second Wind. Now, what was that spell you had that was awesome last time? What? Good. We've now got a doppelganger on the floor. He's near death. Keep hitting him. Right, he's gone. Um, let's hit this one. And, oh my goodness, we're nearly dead. Let's do one of those. Mm -hmm. So that oh, knocked them backwards a little bit. Sigourney, can you hit... Um, because I keep zipping them out, that's the trouble. Okay, so there's another one gone. Uh, let's all, we can all focus on the spectre for a second. That's the spectre gone. Uh, this one? This thing isn't doing it. And this one? We're in the consecrated ground, so I don't know whether that hurts the shades. We're certainly getting our powers back. Can you do your um on me, please? <laughs> definitely haunted, I think. This is a definitely one of those haunted establishments. <laughs> We've got spiritual residue. Spiritual residue. Spiritual residue. Yeah. Now. Mm. Yes. Yes. Hey. Ready, watcher. Okay. I took mm. a little bit of a smack there, but apparently it was when we were going to go upstairs. It didn't want us to. That's when they all appeared. Let's have a look here. What we got on the wall? The glass is completely opaque with grime and salt. A patina of filth and dead barnacles reaches almost to the ceiling. Let's come through this way then. We've got peridot and some golden suelos. And here we go again. Rain blight. Hey. And we're going to need to do... What? And can we all attack this one from a distance? Sigourney, can you do a little shot arrow, please? Right, that's one down. Can we all hit the around here? Soggy and wet and rainy over here. And the last one. Come on. Oh, this is the greater one, okay. Okay, well maybe we can wizard it then if it's going to be a pain. Okay, it's still a pain, so let's do another one. Oh, is it gone? Yeah? We've now got primal waters. Look around here. The burlap sacks have been all but rotted away. What are these barrels? Crates have swollen and warped as if by water. But we have cleared, I think, the ground floor. Ooh. Might want to have a little kip down here, I think. Let's do a little see if there's anything hidden around here. Can't Keep see anything. Yourselves. Doesn't seem to be anything hidden here. Okay. Now I could do a little rest here, a little rest job. 
because I'm quite injured. Well, I'm not quite injured. I don't know. We could probably do another one. Is that door locked now? No. Doors open. Let's go up to the first floor of the lighthouse, I suppose. You must gather your party. Oh, shut up! It's the bloody fox. Come on, fox. Right, first floor. Ground floor has been cleared. This is where stuff might get a little more interesting. How big is this? Doesn't seem to be all that big. That's locked. Okay. There's a spectre on this floor. And some shades. Kai. Ready, watcher. Sigourney, can you hit him? And can we do maybe a bouncy bomb? Hi. And I'm going to do one of those. You're going to do the same. That's not very helpful. And um, who's going to be doing first? Can you do another one of your bouncy bombs? Okay, that didn't work as well as I thought. What's that say? Should one encounter requires athletics one. No, don't do that. Um, let's take out... Oh dear, we are not having a great day. Okay, let's pull him... Consecrate ground. Okay, well we've got double consecrated ground now, but I've already fallen over. Okay, this is not ideal. Right, can you shoot this one? We all need to attack this spectre, I think. Do we have we do? I want to kill anyone else, but it might have to be the case. Boom. Okay. Sigourney, have you got anything left? You don't really. Okay, so shh, that one's gone. That's not the... Wizard. There we go. Boom. Whew. We are going to have a little rest after this, I think. We'll have a little rest on this floor plate. Got it. I'm upright at least. We are going to rest. Oh, hold on. Can we get out your party? Okay. Rest. <clears throat> so we're resting on the first floor. I don't know how many floors this, this lighthouse has got. We are getting some good drops though. Hedge maze has been done. I forgot we were building that, so the hedge maze has now been built. Haven't seen what this looks like yet. Library, barracks, dungeons, merchants, crafting hall, training grounds, botanical garden, hedge maze is done, purchase. Um, a bonus of the five will skill upon resting as well as provide access to the warden who offers high level bounties. Ooh. Ready them with both constant athletics bonus for investing in Bright Hollow. Okay, so let's we've done a lot. Let's shall we put the towers on top now. That'll be done in three days. We'll put the towers on. Right, so we've rested, so eh? we are good to go. Oh, there's a scroll case or something over here. Yellowed fading maps of the bay around Ondra's gift shows routes through the locks between the dikes that hold the ocean back. Okay. Carved in the post is the name Merith, uh, Merwith, with a series of notches labelled with numbers. The lowest notch reads 4, and the highest notch reads 17. We've got a key, Lighthouse Tower key. The notice is stiff with age and salt. Adean reinforcements advancing. Immediate evacuation of Andra's gift by order of Duke Hadra. Sing, oh, the ocean's wave of Andra's sorrow. Okay, so that's just a book, but we'll take all of that, I think. So we've now got the lighthouse key. I wonder if there's anything else hidden around here. Let's get into Slow and silent. secret mode. 
let's have a look. Can't say. I wonder what's in this little room here, though. This looks like a place we've not been in before. There's a box. The compounds and fluids in these bottles have separated into distinct layers. Cook of beans. Still lots of creaking. Lots of creaking. So there's nothing around here. That's the notches on the post. Do you think we can get through this door? Okay, we can go up to the next floor point. Sorry about that, let's go up to the next floor point, turn off the fast mode. Right, so that was the first floor, this is the second floor of the lighthouse. Now, where are we? Oh, there's something. Lilith. Ooh, she got a squeak on. Here she is, Lilith. Shrieking sobs pierce your ears and rattle the musty rafters of the lighthouse. They emanate from the spectral figure of a woman hovering in the middle of the room. Each heave of her shoulders unleashes another hair-raising wail. Right, again, uh, if we can get closer. As you approach, the spirit's cries take on a threatening edge. The swirling mist around its legs ripples with movement. The black pits of its eyes level momentarily with yours. Get closer. The spirit screaming grows louder and louder, its sunken face distorts, twisting into a long, gaping mouth filled with jagged teeth. If anything were to be able to quell the spirit's rage, it would appear not to be you. Back away. So we can't talk to her, but yet, it would appear. Logbook. The logbook expels a thick plume of dust. Six fountain, two, six, seven, two. Foggy, port full, 158 days since sighting the Red Dream. 12th Fontoen, 2672. Heavy rain, two fishing boats lost at sea, 164 days since sighting the Red Dream. Okay, dark clouds, a Dean ships on the horizon, 173 days since sighting the Red Dream. Okay. A banshee, of what locals refer to as a Kanguilla. Wails and screams in the third floor of the lighthouse. It hasn't attacked me yet, but I'll need to get rid of it one way or another before the tower is safer. The workers. The last lighthouse keeper kept a, uh, kept a log seemingly to the final days of the War of Defiance. The person was also tracking the appearance of a ship called the Red Dream. Now I might know more about it. Okay, well we might have to go back down and speak to her then. A simple test. A simple test. Can't get in there yet. I don't want to get too close to it. We've got a scroll, a DN dialects. Okay, we'll just take that. There's another table here. We just got a little of the shawl. Might put that on somebody in a second. Let's come round. Oh, let's see if there's anything hidden over I here. I shall be discreet. Still crying loudly. We can't go up because those clearly have all been destroyed, so we can't go any higher than that. And that one's obviously locked. So we need to go and speak to Nira downstairs. Let's do that. I wonder if we're going to get attack attacked all the way down the stairs as well. Doesn't look like it. There we go, we're out. Good, let's go and have a chat with her and see what she knows about the Red Dream. If it's a boat that's anywhere near, maybe there's something on the boat or the shore which has been lost and Lilith wants returned, or she's clearly very unhappy about something. 
Hail and well met. So, have you figured out what the fuss is about? Have you heard of the Red Dream? Who hasn't? The ship's been running raids for decades now. Used to stop in New Hamor, laden with spoils from Renuti traders. These days I hear she spends most of her time prowling the Deadfire Archipelago. Noi points to a ship anchored in the distance. That's her. When she's at port, her captain, an elf named Merith, takes her shore leave over at the charred barrel in Brackenbury. Believe it or not, she likes her creature comforts. She shakes her head. That's what I'm talking about, when a pirate won't even set foot in the tavern on this side of town. It's high time for a new establishment. Okay. So we need to go and have a chat with in Brackenbury. Heritage Hill, first fires. Can't get to Brackenbury from here, so we have to go this way. Okay. Let's get over here. Let's go and see if we can. Clearly she's in she's in the dock. So let's go and have a chat with um this mayor with and find out what exactly she knows about Lilith. Uh, Brackenbury, accept. Come on, loading screen. Right, here we are, Brackenbury. So she's in the charred barrel, which is over here. Come on, fast mode. See if we can't have a chat with her and see if there's anything that we need to do. Because we were at the Deadfire Archipelago, weren't we? Were we not there? Was that not where we met, where everyone was all um, shipwrecked? Nonsense there. Noble. Understudy. Noble, Ingrid, Noble, Victor, Noble, Cook. It's a cook. I wonder if they're upstairs then. Got it. Oh, the dwarf's leveled up. Should we do that now? Hello, dwarf. You've got seven points. I'd quite like to put that in athletics. I uh, can't do anything with the next one. With athletics, you do start to get really good levels. Let's have a look. Defender got that armoured grace. What's that? Perfectly suited to wear even bulky and restrictive suits of armour, allowing their recovery. Um, so, armoured grace might be quite good. I'm bending. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm going to give him armoured grace. So he gets his speed bonus. This iron breaker is pretty good. Here she is, Merith. If I wanted company, I'd go to the salty mast. Merith's gold tooth catches the candlelight. So what's it this time? Someone at the old lighthouse in Andrew's gift was looking for your ship. I didn't peg you for a liar. At least not from what I've heard. She looks over, narrowing her eyes. But that don't mean I believe you. She leans in, her voice a low hiss. You better explain what gave you such an interesting notion. The last lighthouse keeper watched you for your ship every day. It's all in the log. No. Her snarl flashes a gold tooth. She turned me out. We were poorer than the fishermen who live there now. And when she learned I'd put food on our table with stolen coin, she told me that if she never saw me again, it would be the mercy of the gods. Her darkened eyes filled with rage. I had nowhere else to go, and it was a rough life until I rose to captain. I want to see whether she's too scared. Like the genie in Aladdin. Are you are you able to really do three wishes? So is the infamous Merith too scared to see her for herself? Enough! Merith drops her wine and draws her blade. Scarion will have to forgive me for the mess. Oh, she's going to attack us. Okay, Koki. This is bad news. Merith obviously had a personal connection to the lighthouse and its last keeper, but she won't be visiting. Okay. Um. Yeah. Ah. Uh, can you hit her with a bow? Oh, oh Meredith was getting a wallop on. She's down. Didn't last long, did she? She's down. Take him out. 
Oh well, let's see if she's got anything on her, I suppose. She's got fine leather armour, cloth bandanas, a sabre, a dagger, and some money. Sure. But that's all they had on them. So unfortunately mm. we had to kill them, but never mind. So, we're going to have to go back and see what we can deal with. Um, this spirit, I'm assuming we're just going to have to attack it, because I can't think of any other way. Let's go back over there and see what happens. I wonder if Nia knows anything. She might do, although she hasn't said an awful lot since, but let's get over. It's Hadrat House, first fires. Let's get over there. Dusk is coming as well. I'd quite like to have this done before before nightfall, really. And we're going to Andra's gift. Itchy head. Is there anything with when you're wearing when you're wearing headphones and you're having to do um, like a like a commentary? Suddenly you just get this really intense itch underneath your ear or something, which you don't normally get, and it's like, oh goodness, got to deal with that. Over we come. And hours have passed. Let's so have a look at this. So our security is now at 19. That's pretty good, I think. What do the towers do? Plus one security. Give us a perception bonus. Okay. Come on, peeps, hurry it up. We're going to go back in and kill its spirit. I just think we have to kill it, to be fair. Here we come. We've got to do anything else. Just deal with the spirit another way. It's a shame I can't reach out to the spirit, because if it's dead, I should be able to speak to it as a watcher. But I don't think it's given me that option yet. Do you know How anything do you else? Do? All right, well, we'll go and sort this out. Let's go. Oh, now, are we going to get attacked again all the way up the stairs, or are we going to be able to get close enough and see whether we can do anything with them, maybe? There's no more ghosts down here, I think. We need to help Lilith move on, is what we need to do. But now we've just killed the Merit. Maybe she's better. Perhaps that's what the problem was. Now that Merit's dead, perhaps... The Lilith will be able to move on anyway. Perhaps she'll speak to us now. Okay, shrieping. Okay, shrieking sobs pierce your ears and rattle the musty rafters of the lighthouse. They emanate from the spectral figure of a woman hovering in the middle of the room. Forget about Merith, she's lost to you now. Rage boils through the ghostly figure and rushes forward, its jaws wide. Okay, well, that didn't work. Um, can we knock it over? Can you try and knock it over too? Can you do a good shot on it? Can you do a missile missile? Can you hit it? And can you hit it? Go! Hey. We've got to take her out first, I think. But, oh, dang it. How the hell and back again? Um. <laughs> Oh, we are going to get walloped. Let's try it. Is she nearly down? She's nearly down. Can you take her out? Ready, watcher. Okay, she's down. She's out. We are down already. Goodness gracious me. How many of these dead things? Let's put out a spirit jobby. <laughs> and let's put on that one. Wolf, I'm going to need you to come over here, really. Ready, watcher. Good, that's the thing about one launched. Can you do a heal? Go ah! on, get a heal off. Get a heal off. Right, we need to put down that. Can we get some bouncy bombs going around here? Yes. Can we get some more bouncy bombs going off? Oh goodness me. Can we get another bouncy bomb or something going off here? Can we do a laser beam? Yes. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Another one. 
Strange, really, because we killed a dragon, but we can't kill these. Lava, uh, can you do another one really quickly? Lava. Okay, that's them ones down. Um, we can't kill themselves. They're very good. Um, can you do another one of these over? Here? And what spells have you got left? How may I help? Ah. Can you knock him down? Ulu ah. I'm infusing myself with essence, but it doesn't seem to be doing an awful lot. Yes. Come on, we can kill him. Easy peasy. Yeah. Everyone get up, please. Everybody get up? Everybody get up. Mm. Yeah. We've got the essences. The essences. And Lilith's Athens. Sure. I think we did a pretty good job there, although we did die an awful lot. That seemed quite a difficult. Why not? Lockpick 3, 1, Mechanic 7. Who's difficulty? What about you? What? I can do that. You can't. It's hmm? locked. Nothing we can do with it at the moment. We might have to come back later and see. But everything seems to be clear hmm? now. So let's go and tell Nia that everything's clear. That will end that quest, I think. Shame we had to kill her. But it had to be done. I don't think we're going to get attacked by anything else in here now. Sure. Yeah, those spirits were quite tough. When you think about the dragon, which I suppose we did, were able to manoeuvre the dragon into a place which made it a little less difficult to deal with. Um... But for our soft roby ones, that was quite a quite a challenge. Definitely going to need a sleep when we're done this. Let's hand in the quest, and then I wonder what we've got left here. We've still got to go and see if Sigourney's um, dead relative is still around or dead tribe member. God keep you. So have you figured out what all the fuss was about? There was a spirit upstairs, but I got rid of it. You mean it was true? She gapes. That place really was haunted? I was sure those laborers were just trying to drive up my price. At least I can finally start building here. Take this for your help, but if you stop by sometime, I've got big plans from this place. So we've gained a thousand copper. We've lost an evacuation, uh, evacuation notice. You've lost an item in the logbook. We've gained that, and we've gained that. The Wailing Banshee. She's now disappeared inside. Does that mean this is now a place that we can look at? Is this like a bar? Is she turning this into a bar? Let's have a look. Yeah, it's now a bar. Awesome, she's done loads of work. There's an ear. How'd you like what I've done with the place? She dusts her hands on her clothing. The rooms are still under construction, but I can get you food and drink if you'd like. Okay, let's see what you got. Yeah, she's got good stuff. Oh, we need camping supplies to get another one, at least. Accept and trade. She's got no rooms, but they're still making... But done a good job. Is that what she says? Maybe later. It's a sailor. It wasn't stealing, so we took that. Let's go on upstairs and see if there's anything that she's done up here yet, then. Good, so we've got another bar in town. Defiance Bay, hopefully that's... Hold on, we'll just check our... Yeah, they're the labourers. Builder, builder. Nice to see you. Work out that's fixing this lighthouse. Just the ordinary builders, and they're working on stuff. Awesome. We've got something's come through to the waterline. Um, we'll assign a Luneth go to do that. Excellent. We will leave them to it, and we will uh, just check. What we will do, do, I'll just check our character log and see whether or not what our standing is now within Defiance Bay. Here we are. Defiance Bay, hero, moderately good. Doing well, deceptiveness a shame. 
Honest three, benevolent three. So those are now three each, which is good. Passionate, stoic, and diplomatic. Good. The lighthouse is done. What quest have we got left? The Wailing Banshee. So we've got to still find the Saints' battlefield. We've still got to get to know. Um, at least not yet. So he's not telling me everything about that. Fair enough. That's the ruins for New Cadlua. The Long Hunt. To the cliffs I saw in the vision. Traces of which she's seen. I wonder where that is then. So Sagani, a dwarf from the islands of Nesquit, has come to Diewood searching for the reincarnation of Pesok, an elder from her village. Uh, contains of his soul. Um, Travel to the cliff she saw in the vision. Overlooking the water. Whoever he is now must be there. That's the bronze beneath the lake. Those are the wood end plains. The home of Hadra House through Death's Gate. So those are the ones with the hallowing of the diewood, yeah. Okay, so let's head out. Uh, did I hear somebody had leveled up? Was there a ding? Let's have a look. I'm trying to think when we when we killed Lilith and finished that quest. I don't know whether there was a ding or not. There was no ding. Okay. So that's all done. Heritage Hill. Uh, first fires. We'll come over to first fires. And head out. So let's see if we we can find... Let's go to the map, though. Andra's Gift. Analog's Compass. Over the cliffs. Overlooking, it said, didn't it? The cliffs. Overlooking. It's not in the Searing Falls, clearly. Overlooking the sea. So it's either going to be Anslog's Compass. Hmm. It didn't say in the vision where we had to go, though, did it? Fatigued. Vixen's Burrow Resting Bonus. Ooh, Frostbite. That's not good. We need to sleep that off then. Um, we'll go Copper Lane. So, I wonder if it's Anslog's Compass. Perhaps we've got to go around there and have a look at those cliffs. I'm trying to think if there were any cliffs there when we were there before, but it's quite a way away over there. I don't remember seeing any bodies on top of the cliff or anything. I'm trying to think whether I could remember. I know that there was a water edge. Although you'd have thought in Andra's gift that there were some cliff edges all around on there overlooking the water. Perhaps we should have done a bit more of a search along that wall. Have a little sleep first. We'll always go back because we've got time. And whilst we're here, we might as well. If, there's, if nothing happens there. And that is the only one that I can think of which overlooks the water. So we'll have a look along those cliff edges. And then, if not, we'll head out. Good day, stranger. Answer. Hello, I want a room. Uh, we'll do that one. Rest. Get ourselves back up and functioning at top peak performance. Thank you very much. So let's go back to Andra's Gift and just have a look along that cliff edge all the way along there and see if at any moment we get a, a, some sort of action from um, from Sigourney. Keep calling her Sigourney, it's not a name. <laughs> Old Sigourney Weaver here. Catacombs! Let's bracken the music, we'll come back over to here, that's fine. Hmm. Go to, uh, I'm going to go to Andra's Gift and we'll have a look along that edge because there is like a cliff edge all the way along but I just wasn't aware of anything on there before if we look at the map come on, load it up hurry, hurry, hurry yeah, is that a cliff? do you think that's a cliff? I feel much like a cliff to me I 
of staying on top of cliffs overlooking the water. So, let's come over here and do a little wander down here, I suppose. See if anything happens. These are sort of cliffs. I mean, they're not very good cliffs. Can't go much further this way, can we? Some sort of boat capsized there. this is the right place at all. Although that looks like it could be something over there, doesn't it? It's a boat of some descriptions in the harbour. Hmm. We did walk all the way along there. It didn't tell us anything, did it? It didn't give us any options. So I don't think this is the right place. Okay, so let's, um, we've done the Wailing Banshee, which is what that is now called. Let's go over here then. So we'll head out of, of Defiance Bay now then and see what we can find. Perhaps we should do the Ked newer quests. Is that a room down there? Or some flooded building of some description? We'll head out. We've got to do lots of other things anyway. We could also, we can go back at any time to Ked newer and, um, do this quest under our own base if we wanted to. If I picked the wrong side of it, I did. There's no cliffs on this side at all, is there? Except, we're going to go over to the compass and have a look can't think that there were any real cliffs over the compass, but you never know. There was just those little zarrups, wasn't there? There wasn't anything overlooking the sea. There's Volvano. overlooking the water. Can we get up here? Let's have a look on the thing. See, there aren't really any cliffs to overlook anything. I suppose there might be are these cliffs. No, not really. Nothing to do with cliffs down here. Go this way. Is there anything around here? We've got Morgan's Fork, or Magran's Fork even. Burial Isle, Dyerford Village, Woodend Plains. See, I'm wondering whether it would be anywhere down here, but apparently we can't. There's nowhere over this way which is overlooking anything over here. Maybe down there. Nothing's open over there at all. Edwan Bridge. Is there there's cliffs over there? Let's go to the, can we go anywhere in the Searing Falls? Well, nothing's opened on the Searing Falls. So, normally I think these have to open first, don't they? So that you can actually see them. We've got this bridge. That's closed as well at the moment. Manmar Bridge. Let's go to Black Meadow and see if we can go south. Um, there's got to be some form of over the sea type of situation going on around here somewhere. Just not sure where it's going to be. And if we don't know, then oh, as I say, we can just go off and do some other quests and uh, see if anything comes aware awareness to us. Destroy cart. Yeah, we've cleared all of these out already. There's 
the bridge. Let's go down to this bridge and see, because we've never opened this before. It's a brand new area, so we might as well go down here and see if it does have cliffs overlooking anything, or... Ooh, crumbs! Where'd he come from? Towers construction has been completed. Wow, that didn't take long. Towers are done. So, what should we do? Should we start looking at doing some stuff in the, like, merchant stalls in the Great Hall? Yeah, we'll get some merchant stalls in there for when we get back. So what was that Zurup doing here? We just wiped him out, but he was... I don't know why he was here. That was Springberries. Let's turn off our speed. These look like... maybe we're going... no, these cliffs edges? No. More Zurups. Dead. See, I don't mind Zarup. Zarup's I can handle. Is this a cliff edge? Some sort of hunt going on here. Something dead. Lots of dead things. What's that? Troll. Let's Troll in the dungeons. Right, let's do that. Let's do that. Go. Go! Let's do that again. Let's make that a main target. Boom! That's that troll down. Should give us troll wood. Troll skin even, yep. Eh? Right, let's have a look here. That's going to go up to the Black Meadow, isn't it? Let's keep just exploring down here, because as I say, this is a brand new area anyway, so... <laughs> Boom. This could be looking like some sort of cliffs. Maggot squirm amidst the deer's entrails. Ooh, nasty. Some Garen's horn. Well, these look like cliffs. These look a little bit like cliffs, don't they? Oh, they're not, though. Well, I suppose they are, sort of. Let's go along this edge, just in case there's something there. Who's that? I want to steal from him, but that looks like... That's a gold character. That's a gold character too. Skein bone. Hmm. This is a Zarek camp, which has been almost abandoned. Goodbye. So that's the bridge that leads into Defiance Bay. What's he got? Bloodstone. Nice. And we've sort of done all of that, so let's come through here. Oh, there's a thing here. Might as well take it because we're still going to do some more enchanting at some point on our armors and stuff, so. We've got no problem with that. What are you? Damn looters, can't be bothered to find an honest wage. Pig run. Curse my luck, the woman mutters, kicking her foot to the ground and upturning a clod of soil. As you approach, her ears twitch and she turns to greet you. Hail, traveller. She says with a half hearted hand wave, The bridge to Defiance Bay is out. If that's where you're headed, you'll find, have to find another route. What destroyed the bridge? The river's been rising on account of all the storms here, and the river narrows, the flooding did most damage. The all in woman folds her arms, a scowl overtaking her face. Guess they don't make things to last long around, long around here, do they? One of the stone columns collapsed in a flash flood, taking the whole middle section of the bridge out to sea. Madmar Bridge was the most direct route from Gilded Vale to Defiance Bay. Merchants and travellers now have to find boat passage, or, day, or add days of extra travel to loop around the bay. 
So I started a ferry service, thinking I'd earn some coin and help others cross over to the bay. Peregrine shakes her head, her ears twitching as she speaks, and then there was a bigger mistake than that I, time I allowed a cipher to court me. Mistake, how so? I had been attempting to turn a quick copper, but... She bites her lip, her face turning flush with anger. Just my luck. The blasted currents threw my ferry onto the rocks, dashed it, and my profits to pieces. Making matters worse, then I went on the prow to the, sh to the shore to salvage whatever shipping crates didn't sink. A pair of looters attacked me. She stomps her foot into the ground. The damn brigands had the nerve to attack. I managed to avoid them, mode avoid harm, but, but now they've stolen by force all that was left of my fortune. She eyes drew for a long second, her hand cupping her chin. You know, you look like a fair better against those looters than little old me. Could I enlist your help? I'll take a look. Peregrine smiles wide, her ears picking up. Thank you, I'm sure those thugs have made a mess of my stock, but maybe there's something there to be saved. Okay, goodbye. Ferry Flotsam, we've got to find them. They're obviously down here in the caves, I'd have thought, because there's nothing on the top here. We should be able to handle some ruffians. Let's come down here. Game pause. Why? Looter. Dead on. Oh, he went down fast. And he. Woohoo! We are kicking butt and taking names, people. Got a carry golden copper pans. Blood moss. Kicking butt and taking names. Hanwen gathered around the soggy timbers of a ship wreckage. Men and women picked through the driftwood, snatching muddy silverware, mouldy clothes, ch chipped pottery, and anything they can spot amongst the detritus. All eyes turn to you as you approach. The group trade nervous stares at you until at last a woman muddily clothed steps forward and speaks. Where are Brettel and Terran? she asks. They were just along the path, and we heard fighting. Her eyes narrow, and a hand moves towards a knife on the belt which she anticipates your reply. They attacked us. It was a matter of self-defence. That wreckage is private property and you're looting. She blinks in disbelief. Looting? But this is a wreck. What value does it have? The men and women all turn to her, their faces frightened and worried. Please, we need these supplies dearly. The, st the storm took everything from us. It's not our desire to steal, but we are destitute. Should we let these wares just sink to the river bottom? R river bottom? Regardless of your need, they're still stealing from Peregrine. Can I help? Perhaps you could tell the merchant you found nothing beyond bits of driftwood. From her point of view, it would be as though the river washed it all away. Besides, how much copper will she really make by selling these rotting clothes and sword wares? I won't lie to cover up your thievery. Hanuman looks at her comrades, all nodding in agreement. Then you leave us no choice. Oh, I'm sorry about this, people, but you just can't you can't steal. It's just unacceptable. Uh, can you do one of your bouncy bombs, just for fun? Just for funsies. How may I... <laughs> I shut. <laughs> Let's have looters. I can't steal. Unacceptable. We've got white leaf. We've got a hermit's hat. Okay. There doesn't seem to be any. There's a crate here, which would be stealing. So that's very cargo. So we're not going to steal that. Afraid end of a rope drifts in the river. We'll just take these reeds. All done? I think so. I shall be discreet. There isn't anything else around here, eh? sir. Can't see anything else hidden away over here. No. So we will head quickly back up here. Finish this quest, hand it in. Peregrine bounces to her feet. My helpful stranger returns. Have you managed to find anything yet? Even if all you found is driftwood. Oh. So have I got to, have I got to take them? Things I don't really want to steal. Looks like I've got to take the the ferry cargo and hand it back to her. Now I've got stuff. I hope that's not gone down as a theft point against me. I should be annoyed. Peregrine bounces to her feet again. Show her the cargo. Will this happen to be your wares? 
Peregrine's ears twitch with excitement as you drop the supplies down in front of you. Thank you, I was beginning to think all had sunk into the bottom of the river. She reaches into a tunic pocket and hands you something to you. Consider this a small token of my gratitude. I reward you properly when you visit my shop in Defiance Bay. Good. There we go. Another quest done. Off she pops. I do hope we didn't get any negativity because of that. Let's have a quick look. Deceptive, honest, passionate, stoic, diplomatic. Well, we tried, but nothing else worked. Well, there we go. So we are still sort of stuck trying to find... I don't suppose we can get across... Mm -hmm. it. As they say, this this whole bridge is missing, so I don't think we can be able to get... There is a way over here, though. Perhaps the cliffs over here. Let's just get over here really quickly. We've got a little bit of time. Let's have a little look. Well, there's some plants... But this is not the right place either, then, by the looks of it. Which is a pity, because I just don't understand where else it's going to be. I've killed the troll. The bridge, obviously, is going to be missing. Looks like we'll be taking the long way to Defiance Bay. Oh, that's Arthur. Stand back, stand back, stand back, stand back. Yep. Whole bridge is gone. Right, well that sort of puts us at the end of our at the end of our quest for today then. If you've enjoyed this, please leave a like. If you're not a subscriber yet, hit that button and come along with us on the journey through the Pillars of Eternity. Uh, any comments as well, do leave them down there. I love reading your comments. Uh, it's always good to hear from you guys. So thanks very much for watching. You take care of yourselves. And I'll see you next time for some more Pillars of Eternity.